Hello Linux fans, Rob here. Welcome to another episode of Gnome Quest, a series where we look at customizations, extensions, and other settings for the GNOME desktop environment. So I want to give a shout out to Thanos who recommended an excellent extension called Easy Screencast. So we're going to take a look at Easy Screencast today and I think you're going to find it's more full featured than you might first think from an extension. So I've been using Easy Screencast for over a week now and so far I've had really good results. It's been reliable, I've had no screen tearing whatsoever and it was easy to install and set up. So you'll notice the red icon here in the top panel. If we were to left click that you're going to see some immediate options here uh, and we are using this of course to record this video. So your first option in the drop down here is for your sound input. So we'll click that and you'll see there are lots of options here uh, for sound input. Our next option, if we had an external webcam in place, uh, in clicking that we would have, have options to choose internal or external webcam. In this case you see integrated, but I'm not using it. Also, you have some record all desktop options. Here you see record all desktop as we're doing for this video. You see record a selected monitor, so if you had multiple monitors set up. Record a selected window or record a selected area. So again here, lots of features that you can select just from this quick drop down. Then also you have some timing options. Start recording immediately or you have a slider here to set up a delay. Now we have additional options that we could choose from here, but I'm going to go on over to the extension and just kind of show you uh, where this is. Now I have a video in the GNOME Quest series, it's the first video, uh, which talks about GNOME Tweak, and that's where I go through the process of showing you how to set up these extensions. So within the extension list, you're going to see Easy Screencast here, and we're going to click from here to launch into the options you'll see a pop-up window and the first level of options gives you an option for recording status indicator, show alerts and notifications, so you'll see the pop-up there that's saying that you're recording uh, and you probably saw that in the very first few seconds of the video. Show a border around the area being recorded. Had we turned that on you'd see like a red border uh, there in place. Enable keyboard shortcuts which I always use and so you can set up that combination. Uh, draw cursor on screencast so that you can see the mouse cursor and then you have options for executing a command after the recording. So maybe you wanted to you know change the path or something like that. And then last but not least on the main options page you've got enable verbose debug. Our next tab is quality. Now here you've got a simple slider and as you slide towards the crown you're going to see an increase in you know FPS and some of the other settings here, bit rate, so on and so forth. Then our next option is webcam, and had we you know set up a webcam, external webcam here, and selected that device, you'd have an option for quality, size, and position. And our final tab here is file. So here you can choose the container slash encoder. You can also choose the resolution as well as the template name and then the location where the video will be recorded and stored. So as you can see here, this is really a full featured extension. There are way more options than I ever expected to see in an extension and Easy Screencast so far again has been very reliable. I've had zero screen tearing which is awesome if you've ever had to deal with that. Um, you know, having something that just works is fantastic. So I'm going to hop over here and give credit to the developer and I believe this recently changed from one developer to another and if I butcher your name I apologize but the developer is uh, Locopo De Nosy or Loco Locopo De Nosy perhaps. Um, but anyway shout out to you excellent job on this extension and again, thank you Thanos for bringing that to my attention. And if you have a favorite extension or setting or customization within GNOME and you'd like to share that, uh, if, if it's something we can work into the GNOME Quest series, I'm happy to do that. And so it's a, it's a great time discovering these extensions. 
and um, I highly recommend this if you're interested in a new simple way to do your screen recordings within GNOME. So thanks for watching. Hope this helps and we will check you later.